don't teach your children that you have to be twice as good as a white. That's an awful thing to teach your child. Mm -hmm. That's like saying because you're black, uh, white America has a right to change your dollar for 94 cents. But we used to get 50 cents, and before that, we used to get nothing. <clears throat> Young folks have to say, we don't want more change for a dollar. <clears throat> Excuse me, we want a full dollar's change for a dollar, or this cash register will never ring again. Yes. I would also like for young uh, blacks to understand that about 83% of all employment happened with small businesses. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, if you don't have a small business, then you have nobody to work for you. And I would say to young blacks, get into entrepreneurship. We will never catch up with white America until we get into business because there's a thing called tax write-offs. Okay, guys, so what you're looking at here is a falling over pallet. So if you ever wonder why your Amazon package comes damaged in terms of the box being opened or plastic not being stuck onto each other or whatever you see your Amazon package happens to your Amazon packages, this is typically the reason have to change angles and uh it's because amazon they always put the heavy stuff on top as you see the heavy box that i'm putting right there um but i'm putting it in it well that's actually not a really heavy box but uh anyway they so yeah amazon puts puts heavy packages on top um, which causes the small box, the lighter boxes at the bottom to get crushed and the pallets end up falling over. What ended up happening here is one of the pallets fell over and I had to reconstruct the boxes. So then I took out one of the pallets that were going to a, uh, a, the next stop and I put that back in there. And then by the time I got to that stop, that pallet had fallen, fallen over. So really, really, you know, double check, triple check these pallets to make sure that they're um, stable enough to ride in your truck. Um, and if they're unstable, then make sure that when you load them, you strap them on the on. Uh, hopefully you have two different E-Track rails. There should be a lower E-Track rail and an upper E-Track rail. And hopefully you um, hopefully you strap both on the top and the bottom to keep um, both the whole pallet secure. What happened in this instance, I strapped the bottom um, and didn't strap the top because I didn't think it was going to fall over. And it ended up falling over and things ended up breaking and falling out. So there you have it. Um, so this is what you're watching, looking at now. Uh, I'm just restacking the pallet from before and I'll let you keep watching. I really don't I don't know how to fast forward. So uh, if you want to fast forward, you can. Um, I'm I'm not really I'm really I'm not really certain on how to fast forward on this iMovie. So you can either uh, check out the rest of this part of the video or you can move on to I think another I think it's another minute past this. OK. All right. So I wanted to add because I didn't I didn't say before you do have the option if you notice that the pallet is not um, stacked appropriately or, or safely for you. You do have that option if you recognize it while you're at the Amazon facility to have them restack the pallet for you and or put all of these boxes and packages into what's called a Gaylord. Um, a Gaylord is one big uh, cardboard box that, ha that typically has an opening on one side. And uh, it actually, I like Gaylords a lot more than I like pallet, pallet boxes like this 
because gay lords typically to are are able to um, maneuver better and they're able to fit into spaces and be not crushed, but kind of like manipulated a little bit more than these are. Um, these are a little bit more stiff and a little bit more um, uh, harder to uh, manipulate. So what in, ends up happening is either they fall over completely, they halfway fall over, or uh, they, you know, they stand strong and, and you're able to deliver them um, pretty good. So, uh, but there, it's probably about, it's probably about a 50-50 chance. Um, you just have to kind of look at the boxes and see if the boxes are marked heavy. Sometimes they have boxes in the middle of the palette that are marked fragile, <laughs> which to me is so crazy, but they end up doing that. So just, you know, kind of, you know, as you kind of um, scan, as you scan the palette, make sure, you know, you look at the palette and make sure that it because they, they're, they're not going to they don't look for it. Look at it for quality assurance. They just don't. They, they they they're moving mass quantities of packages every single day and they could care less if the stuff is uh, stacked appropriately. So that's on you. That's your responsibility to check it out before you put it on your truck. After you put it on your truck, it's your responsibility. And then you have to deal with stuff like this. So if you don't want to deal with stuff like this, make sure that you're looking at your palettes and doing a better job than I did. Um, as I learn and grow, um, I want you guys to also learn and grow. So, yeah, just want to add that, too. OK. All right.
All right, guys, so what happened here is the other palette that I was talking about in the previous uh, segment where basically I only strapped it once. As you can see, you can see the strap right there on the lower uh, E-Track. Um, I have multiple straps. Um, I just didn't strap the top, use the top E-Track, and this, well, I would have prevented this from happening. So, um, you know, in the future, I will be strapping both um, E-Track. It doesn't, it just takes another like five more minutes. I, I just didn't do it. Um, but in the future, I will. Um, but if you don't, this is what happen. Uh, I have my son here um, and he's helping to restack the pallet because he was like, Dad, I want to get out. I want to help you. Um, I want I, I want to see, you know, how you do this and um, you know, this is this is what it's all about, because honestly, like I'm doing it for my kids to create generational wealth. And um, I love that he wants to get out and help. So I let him get out and help, even though he was like half asleep <laughs> to come on this load. I ended up uh, uh, did, I didn't wake him up. He was already awake when I got to where we were going. And he, uh, he said, oh, dad, I want to help. So this is him helping to restack the pallet and. uh for the second time in one night, I'm restacking a pallet. And, uh, <sighs> yeah, this is a long night. So we're restacking a pallet. We're going to uh, offload it, and we're going to keep going. I just wanted to kind of narrate this and kind of let you know what was going on here. Um, as, uh, you know, as my son restacks the pallet, um, he doesn't restack the whole thing. He only restacks the half that fell. Um, and then I realized that, part of it broke something broke and that's when you see the camera go off um so yeah so that's what you see there and yeah i just want to narrate that and uh yeah i hope you enjoy the rest it's probably about another 20 seconds <laughs> before rick and i said something broke all right guys uh, hopefully you learned something uh drop a comment like share and subscribe peace james backwards out